Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there, person this word, and to you sincere listeners. So I want to go to a quick lesson, which, uh, you know, is kind of based upon a video uh, one of the brothers sent out, you know, concerning none other than uh, vocab, no class Malone, you know, which uh, basically, you know, expose him for being, a, you know, a, a Amalekite. Which through the spirit, you know, we already knew that, you know, with a, a last name like Reeser, you know, which is uh, German. But he, he has a spirit uh, of an Amalekite, you know, and that's the real reason why he's, you know, coming up against this uh, truth so hard. Because, uh, you know, a lot of them, them Amalekites, they, they don't like the fact that we are, you know, uh, the real Israelites, man. They got a big uh, problem with that. You know, they can't deal with it in their mind that we're, you know, the real people of the scriptures and, and they're, they're frauds, man. You know, but he's just fulfilling a uh, biblical prophecy, you know, and uh, we just going to get some scriptures uh, concerning that. And, you know, whether this damn devil actually admits to this or not is of, you know, it's of none importance. We already know why he's doing the things that he's doing. You know, we don't got to get a, a, an admission from his mouth. We know through the spirit, you know, you got to understand, you know, what a uh, man or person, you know, this devil is, you know, he'll claim his uh, so-called <laughs> Italian heritage. But he don't want to tell you, you know, really what his dad is, man. His dad is a so-called Jew, you know, this is uh, Psalms 83 and one. It says, keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And this is, uh, you know, exactly what vocab, no class Malone, John uh, 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 Mark Reeser is doing, man. Okay. He's a part of this as well. He's a part of this conspiracy to keep the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of who you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are from you, you know? Because why he's not, you know, going to those, uh, you know, Philosian Jews and telling them that they're not Israelites? Why he ain't going over there in the land of Israel and telling them, see, you you people, you, you, you're, 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 you're this, you're this, you know, you're from this uh, uh, nation. You know, he's specifically targeting the the Israelites. And they ain't got nothing to do with what he said on his, on his, his uh, you know, the video that he sat down and did with, uh, you know, Sai, uh, nigga, you know, oh, they're, they're coming at Christians. So I, I would say, why, they, why, why can't I respond? Whatever the, the, the hell that demon said was that's all BS. You know, his, his, his goal, his agenda is to overthrow the faith of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and try to get you not to believe in the scriptures. That's why he's going so hard, uh, uh, you know, or trying to go hard. You know, he's not doing a very good job. You know, even despite all his efforts, his truth continues to grow and grow. It says, uh, verse three, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel, man. These elites, you know, they have gotten together and they've come up with a plan to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans down. And it's a, you know, pretty much like a two prong attack, man. So they'll, they set the society up that pushes and promotes sin and iniquity as your culture. And then they'll withdraw the knowledge of who you are from you, man. But when you go into the history, it's evident of who we are. When you go into the origins of where we came from, it's evident who we are, man. You so-called uh, Negroes. Where'd you come from? You came from, uh, you know, Europe. First and foremost, that's where the first slave ships came from to bring you so-called Negroes over here to put you in slavery. But even the uh, the narrative that he pushes that all, you know, the so-called black people in this country that came over here during the slave trade came from Africa. Well, if you go over to Africa, the particular parts where, you know, our people came from, the West Coast mainly, you know, do you had uh, some Israelites in, in, in South Africa, Cape Coast, and then some on the East Coast, those were all Israelite tribes, man. 
There were Israelite kingdoms on the eastern uh, coast of Africa. West Africa, there was Israelite kingdoms over there, man. And if you go into the different tribes that are still left there today, the, the remnant that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has left over there because Esau wasn't able to bring all the tribes in, into slavery. When you go into their customs, they're Israelites, you know? They call upon the names of, of you know, not uh, Yahweh, they'll say Yahweh. Their customs, they still have a semblance of, you know, the ancient customs that we practice. Because you have to remember where these individuals came from. They fled, you know, uh, Roman captivity after 70 AD. A bunch of us fled into the West Coast of Africa. And us keeping the customs that we had for so long, those customs are still going to show, man. You know, even though Jake is completely off and, and left and, and wicked as hell, the Bible is literally where our heritage is. Those are our customs. That's what, that's what we do, man. So you can't really, you know, uh, uh, fully beat that out of somebody or fully take that away from somebody. Cause that's just how they, how they get down. You know, even today here in Babylon, the great, even though Jake has a, uh, you know, their culture has been replaced, you know, we still show semblances of being Israelites. You know, certain things that, that Jake won't do. Jake don't like to eat blood. You won't really eat your meat medium rare. You know, that's not really a, a custom amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You want your meat well done. And that's a trait that goes back to the scriptures. You know, it says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And this is, you know, with vocab Malone. Well, I ain't going to call him that. That's some name this damn devil came up with to try to make him sound more ethnic. His name is John Mark Reeser, man. Okay. A German Jew descendant. German Jewish descendant. All right. It says, for they have taken. Oh, Salaki, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what he's he's still forward in that agenda. That's been the plan of these elites since they came into power. Let's cut them off from being a nation. Why? Because. As long as we have that connection to our power, we can obtain uh, the kingdom. So all we have to do is repent to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and the Most High will have mercy upon us and, you know, fulfill that promise that he made to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So in Esau Edom's mind, the perfect plan would be to, like I said earlier, cut us off, you know, uh, uh, from the knowledge of who we are, which they have effectively done that. You know, you you don't read about this in, in typical books. When you go to school, they don't teach you about this. They don't teach you the origins of, you know, where you so-called Negroes came from. They don't teach you the origins of where you so-called Latinos and Native Americans came from. They tell you complete lies, man. They'll say you so-called Native Americans, you Latinos, your ancestors came here because they crossed the Bering Strait, you know, uh, 10,000 10, years ago, 20,000 years ago. You came from China, you know. They won't tell you that your ancestors actually came over here on ships from the Middle East. They're not going to tell you that. You so-called Negroes, they're going to tell you that you just, yo, your history starts as you being a slave. And before that, you was just swinging from trees in Africa. They're not going to tell you that you were the, the black nobility in Europe. They're not going to tell you things like that. And what is the origin of uh, the black nobility in Europe, where did they trace their lineage back to? The the uh, sons of, of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. That's the reason why we were sitting on thrones up there in Europe, because we acknowledge ourselves as being of that royal seed line, man. OK. And we acknowledge the divine right to rule. Now, this damn devil, he's trying to take that away from us. OK. And this damn devil, John Mark Reese, he's just forwarding that agenda. He's on his job, man. He's doing what he's supposed to do. It says they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what this damn devil has done and is trying to continue to do, man. So what's, what's, what's his main objective? To tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're not Israelites. You know, you, you, you don't come from the seed of Jacob. You're not the, of the seed of Abraham. Well, if we don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, what nationality uh, uh, do we link up with in the scriptures? What is our biblical nationality if we're not Israelites? You know? 
We can't be any other nation outside of the nation of Israel because we fit all the prophecies, man. Which, by the way, John Mark Reeser does not understand nor go into, you know. If he says that those, uh, well, he thinks that he's a so-called Jew, you know. His people don't fit the prophecies, man. They'll tell you those uh, Amalekites, those 1948ers, they'll tell you that they have always had their heritage, man. They never lost their heritage. They never lost the, the, the remembrance of who they were. They've been carrying the Torah since they left, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the land of Israel in 70 AD. You know, they've been practicing the Torah, you know, singing the, uh, uh, the hymns, singing psalms until the Balfour, uh, declaration, you know, came into play and they got, uh, you know, placed back there. That's not, uh, biblically accurate though. That doesn't link up with prophecy. The Heavenly Father said that his uh, people will forget about him and they will go into captivity for their disobedience. That doesn't apply to the uh, uh, those, those 1948ers. It says, uh, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, no more in remembrance amongst you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans. So everybody else around the world can claim that they are, uh, you know, of the heritage of the nation of Israel. They can be Israelites except for you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans over here, you know, uh, in the Western Hemisphere and your descendants dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody else can be Israelite, but you, 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 you are, uh, you know, taking hold of this false narrative because you want to, you want a place to belong. But we actually are those people, man. We link up with prophecy. The tribes that were actually taken from the West Coast of Africa, they are actually Hebrews, man. And then the, the so-called uh, Native Americans, which we went into it at camp before, you know, and done multiple sit downs of, you know, different things that actually back up the fact that the so-called Native Americans are Israelites. Well, another uh, uh, defining, uh, uh, you know, fact that we are who we are is the Los Lunas uh, uh, Dicolog Stone. Now, where the hell did these people, if they just, you know, some, uh, 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 you know, of Asian origin, you know what I mean by Asian, like Japan, China, if the Native Americans come from there, why the hell is there a decalog in Los Lunas, New Mexico? Why is there another one in Ohio, man? There's different ones dispersed, you know, throughout this land. Where the hell they get that from? And it's also written in the Paleo Hebrew, which the scholars, okay, because, you know, John Mark Reeser, he's, he's so into what the scholars say the scholars will tell you that that language ceased to be in existence after 70 AD and there's no record of the Israelites coming over here you know uh, uh, well the, the southern kingdom there's no record of them coming over here uh, before 70 AD man okay after 70 AD or, or, or I should say prior to uh, post 70 AD after 70 AD, nobody came over here. The Southern Kingdom didn't flee and come over this way. They stayed over there in the old world, man. So how did these people know the ancient paleo script, which is no longer in use? How did they know that? Because they are, in fact, Israelites, man. And you, you can't stop it. You cannot hide the fact of who we are. So what do you do? You try to, you know, have a smear campaign to try to overthrow the faith of those that believe. It says, for they have consulted against Slaki, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So all these nations have, you know, basically they got a conspiracy against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, which Edom is our, our chief enemy. Edom is our, uh, you know, our twin brother, our evil twin brother, who got rejected by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and the Most High declared him to be our slave. Now, this damn devil has in his mind that if he somehow is able to take us out, then he'll get the birthright. And that's the, the, the agenda of Esau Edom. It says the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, them, them Arabs, okay? The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab, the so-called Chinese. And that's why all these nations, they could claim to be Jews, man. The so-called uh, 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 white man, he, he's, he's, he's the, 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 the ancient, well, they don't even call themselves the ancient Israelites. 
he, he can be a Jew. He could be Jewish. You know, if Ishmael want to say that he's a, you know, he's Jewish, he could be Jewish. If Mo, if Moab want to say he's Jewish, he could, they'll, they'll accept him and they'll bring that nigga back to the land. You know, he could have his feet as soup. He could be in the land of Israel, you know, bound down at the well and wall, man. And ain't nobody going to say nothing about that. It says in the Hagarines, which are Hamites, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, which that just so happens to be the tribe and the nation that uh, John Mark Reese was from. So Edom is all the way in this thing, man. And they want to do what? Just like we read in verse four, they want to uh, make sure that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Because once you wake up, all these nations are going to be going into slavery. You're going to be the rulers of the earth. The Heavenly Father is going to start hearing your cry and you're going to put these nations down. And they don't want that to happen. They want to keep their rulership down here upon the earth, man. It says, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asur also is joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot, Selah, do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. See, and this is what they do not want to happen, man, because what happens when we wake up and start calling upon the Heavenly Father? Just like uh, what happened to Sisera, which if you read that account in the book of Judges, Sisera got put to death. His head got smoked. And that's exactly what the Heavenly Father is going to do to these nations. He's going to smite the heads of the heathens. So the different rulers, you know, that have uh, set this society up, they have, have come together and they have an agreement to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans down. The Lord is going to destroy them. Okay? Which would mean what? This system that they set up is no longer going to have a spearhead, man. So it's going to crumble. And it's going to, you know, basically leave the way open for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai to establish the kingdom of heaven down here upon the earth. Unimpeded. You know? This is uh, Sirach 36. And uh, I'm going to just get to the point. Sirach 36 and I'll start at 7. It says, rise up indignation and pour out wrath. And that's exactly what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do. Now, a uh, uh, precursor, our requirement for the Heavenly Father to pour out wrath down here upon the earth. His people have to wake up. His people have to have been warned about what he's getting ready to do. You know, because there's certain individuals that the Most High is going to save amongst the nation of Israel. And he can't make that move according to prophecy until they uh you know wake up and also until the nation of israel gets warned and is able to make a choice between serving the heavenly father and not serving the heavenly father it says rise up indignation and pour out wrath take away the adversary and destroy the enemy and they don't want to be destroyed man so how do you prevent from being destroyed by the heavenly father you have to keep the nation of israel down you got to make sure that they never come to the knowledge of who they are that they never you know uh uh regain the names of their power that they never regain their heritage man just make sure they're, they're they think that they're negroes and african americans and mexicans and and uh, uh you know latinos and native americans and seminole indians you know make sure they just believe that they're uh uh, uh you know brazilians if we if we if they believe that then we're good we ain't got nothing to worry about we can do whatever we want to these people you know and we can maintain our rulership down here upon the earth it says rise up indignation and pour out wrath take away the adversary and destroy the enemy make the time short and you see that happening the heavenly father speeding up time man so basically all these attempts that you know esau edom is still doing that amalek is still doing that john mark research is still doing it's futile, man, because you cannot stop the prophecies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai from coming to pass. Where the Most High say in Jeremiah the forty-sixth chapter, He said, "I will do all my pleasure, man. My counsel shall stand, and I shall do all my pleasure." So the will of the Heavenly Father is what takes precedent down here on the earth, man. And by you doing what you're doing, you just fulfilling the prophecies of the Heavenly Father, just as we read in Psalms the eighty-third chapter, man. It's your job. To try to keep us away from who we are. The Most High sets you up to do that. It says make the time short. Remember the covenant. And that's another thing that they don't want us 
uh, uh, to be able to remind you how about Shemi Yahweh Shai about, man. Why? Because if we bring up that covenant, that agreement, that promise that we have made with you, how about Shemi Yahweh Shai, then he has to act, man. Because the scriptures tell you that the most high is not a man that he should lie. Okay, we have, uh, we still have an agreement with the Heavenly Father. Okay, and not only that, he's made an agreement with our forefathers, man. And the Most High is not a man that he should lie. So he has to fulfill that promise. And what was that promise? That uh, he would make an everlasting covenant between the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that hasn't happened yet, man. So what are we doing? We're, we're us coming to the remembrance of who we are, we're bringing that, that promise back up to the Heavenly Father. We're reminding him about the covenant that he made between us and our forefathers, man. Okay, and asking him to uh, fulfill that promise. It says, make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. And who is it them? The elect that are going to be delivered from the wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 9, it says, let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire, and let them perish that oppress the people. Who's oppressing us, man? You, you mainly, you Edomites. Mainly you Amalekites, because you're the ones that are in control of this system that has been set up. You the one that's passing all the legislation. Well, who's the one that's going hard body against the Israelites right now, man? Uh, Amalekite, John Mark Reeser, the chief enemy of, of the nation of Israel, man. So all that oppress the people, they're going to perish. The Lord going to put them to death. Okay. And that's in the prophecies. So to try to hinder these prophecies from being fulfilled, what can we do? We have to take away the remembrance of who they are. They can, they can never remember that they made a covenant with the Heavenly Father. They can never remember their lineage because then they can call upon the Most High to fulfill that promise. And that's why these elites are losing their damn mind, man, because despite all their efforts, we have still gained the knowledge of who we are. And it wasn't on no carnal level, man. This is all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that bugs these people out even more. It says, let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. Okay, so the Most High just going to shut this whole thing down, man. If you smite the head, then the ones that are following those heads, they're going to scatter. They're going to lose their power, man. And that's what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to do. It says, smite and sunder the heads of the heathen, the heads of the rulers of the heathen, that say there is none other but we. And that's what these heathen have in their mind. We're going to be the ones that's going to be ruling and running things down here. Okay, as long as we can keep this system going, these people stand no chance, you know. And even though we do know who we are, these devils are still proud because they have it in their mind. That as long as they continue to commit iniquity, they ain't never going to get back in the good graces of the Heavenly Father. Well, we read what Solomon said. Solomon said the whole nation has to turn back and that's never going to happen. So, yeah, they, they, they can they can believe who they are. They can know who they are. They can call upon the names. But we don't we don't care about that because they're still going to stay on the bottom because we set the perfect system up. You know, verse 11, it says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. And that's what's going to happen, man. That's what you see happening. And we're the only ones declaring that we are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. And we know which uh, tribe is which. You go over there to the land of Israel now, you ask them where the 10 tribes are, they're going to look at you like you got three heads, man. Oh, we don't, we don't know. You know, all of them will say they're either Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. They don't know where the rest of the tribes are, man. It says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. O Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn. And what is the firstborn? The firstborn gets the principal blessing, man. And we're calling that uh, to the mind of the Heavenly Father, reminding him the words that he spoke to us. When we came out of Egypt, the Most High said, Israel is my son. So we're the firstborn of the Heavenly Father amongst these nations, man. So we get the principal blessing. We're supposed to be ruling over you other nations. And we're reminding the Heavenly Father of those things. Okay. And this whole little system that you set up to try to keep the nation of Israel oppressed and down, it's collapsing right before your eyes, man. And that's why these heathen are bugging out. That's why uh, John Mark Reeser's bugging out, you know. This is uh, Psalms 201. It says, why do the heathen rage 
And the people imagine a vain thing. When you look this word rage up, the word there is ragash, which means the plot. And that's what the heathen are doing. They're plotting against the nation of Israel. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And what's the vain thing that you are imagining? That the nation of Israel is never going to come back into power? That your uh, feeble attempts to try to, you know, uh, mess up their uh, uh, faith is going to work? All right. <laughs> It says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against the Lord, Yahweh and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord, Yahweh shall have them in derision. Why? Because your feeble tips are not going to work. Ultimately, the will of Yahweh Yahweh is what's going to be executed down here upon the earth. And what's the will of the heavenly father that the nation of Israel Remembers who they are. They call upon the names of Yahweh Shai. They beg him for mercy. They start to follow his law, statutes, and commandments, and he delivers them. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. And nothing you Amalekites do is going to stop that. Nothing. You could put the elect to death. They still going to serve Yahweh Shai. A uh, quick precept. This is a. Uh, Micah 4 and 11 it says now also many nations are gathered against thee that say let her be defiled and this is basically what vocab well this is basically what John Mark Reeser is saying let her be defiled you know because if we're so detrimental to the world and to uh, you know the so called black community if that was his real premise for doing what he's doing like brothers have said before why ain't he going after these uh, thug niggas that's out here you know, why is he focused on that? We're, we're telling our people to, to, you know, to get in order, man. To have a, a standard for, for living your life down here upon the earth. Don't live this chaotic, wicked lifestyle that you live. We're promoting the laws of the Heavenly Father. What's so, what, what is so wicked about that? What's so, what's so dangerous about the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man? Especially coming from the mouth of, of Mark Research, which he descends from the people that supposedly have had the laws of the heavenly father for, 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 for millennia, you know, why, why is it so dangerous for us to promote the law, statutes and commandments of the heavenly father, uh, uh, to our people, you know, we telling our people don't steal, don't murder, don't commit adultery, don't worship other gods. What's so detrimental about that, man? What's so dangerous about that? But you can have a, 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 a Jake run up and down the street, robbing people, putting people to death. Committing adultery, uh, 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 idol worshiping, you know, not following the laws of the Heavenly Father, not carrying themselves with, with dignity, okay, not acting like the nobility that they are. That's okay, you know, but if you have a Jake that, that you know, so called Negro, Latino, or Native American that's actually holding himself to a standard, that's dangerous, you know. They want us to be in that defiled state. They want you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be bugged out your mind. They want you to be in gangs. They want you to be, you know, uh, uh, in, in X3 or X4. You know, they want you to be a, a, a crip or, or a blood. Why he ain't going after them? <laughs> you know, they're way bigger and have way much more influence than, uh, uh, you know, the Israelites do over the so-called uh, black, Hispanic, and Native, Native American uh, communities. You know, we just supposed to be crazy men that go out on the street corner and scream at the top of our lungs. The Crips and the Bloods have way more influence over the people than, than we do. How many how many Crips and Bloods are there here in America? You know, how many of our uh, uh, people from the Northern Kingdom are down with uh, that red and blue thing and all these other gangs that's out here? You know, we telling our people not to do those things, but that's that's a detriment to them and it's dangerous to them because... If we remember who we are, we're not going to be in this defiled state. We're going to be able to call upon the Heavenly Father and He's going to execute judgment for us, man. So that's why this is a, such a dangerous ideology to uh, our enemies. It says, Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, Let her be defiled. Meaning, let her be in this polluted state. Let, let's, let's promote to her uh, uh, idol worship. Let's promote to her the things that the Heavenly Father hates and despises so they can continually be the enemy of the Lord, man. So if they get in the good graces of the Heavenly Father, they're going to begin to rule over us. And we don't want that to happen. 
So anything that uh you know promotes them getting right with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, let's destroy that. You know, let's uh 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 let's defame that. You know, let's 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 paint that as something that that's wicked, something that's that's dangerous. So these people won't get into it. But even despite all those attempts, you can't stop this. <laughs> okay. It says, now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled and let our eye look upon Zion. But they know not the thoughts of the Lord. You don't know the mind of the heavenly father because you, you other nations, you actually believe that the most high was with this system that you set up. You actually believe that the most high was with you telling the nation of Israel that, you know, there are no people. That they don't, they don't need to follow the laws, uh, statutes and commandments. They don't need to have a good relationship with the Heavenly Father. They don't have to do the things that please Him. All they got to do is go to these, you know, churches and they'll, they'll be good. That's not, that's not the will of the Heavenly Father. The will of the Heavenly Father is that the nation of Israel comes back to Him. Just as the Most High told Pharaoh in Egypt, He let my people go that they may serve me. The Most High wants His servant back, man. It says, but they know not the thoughts of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, neither understand they his counsel, which the counsel of the Lord is his reasoning behind the, the uh, you know, why he does things. You other nations actually believe that the Most High allowed us to go into captivity for our destruction, man. You know, that the Most High just forsook us. He wasn't dealing with us no more. That was the furthest thing from the truth. The only reason why we went into captivity was because of our disobedience. But it was never the will of the Heavenly Father to keep us in this uh, state. We just here to learn a lesson. That lesson has been learned. Now it's time for us to be risen up and put back in our, uh, you know, our, the original stead, stead that we was in, ruling the earth, being that royal seed. It says, neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. And that's exactly what the Heavenly Father is doing. He's gathering all you nations together, man. <laughs> he set you up. All right. And the worst thing you did was put your hands on the nation of Israel. And you could come up with all this rhetoric and all this, you know, so-called evidence to try to prove that we not we are not who we say we are, but the Most High knows exactly who we are, man. Uh, verse th 13, it says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass. And this is what's dangerous to these other nations. This is the reason why uh, John Mark Reeser you know, he gets he gets scared at the, the nation of Israel being in order, man, because he knows what's getting ready to come. He's read the he's read the prophecies, man. You know, you, you don't think he read numbers of 24th chapter about what's going to ha happen to Amalek after, uh, uh you know, Yahweh comes back. He's read that. So he's scared, man. So what is he doing? He's trying to, you know, stop this thing and, uh, any by any means necessary, man. And you can't stop it. It says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And I get it, man. If I was a, a, a Amalekite, I'd be scared too. You know, to know that these people that you see on a street corner, you know, that you see making videos, that you see reading the scriptures, these are going to be the people that's going to take you down, man. These are going to be the individuals that are going to put you into slavery. That's going to put all kind of holy hell on you. I'll be trying to stop it too, man. Why you still have the power to seemingly, you know, why we still have control of this kingdom. We still got our military. But let's, let's, let's try to stop these people, you know, because they know the history. Vocab, well, John Mark Reeser, he knows the history, man. You know, like the apostles always say, for you to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. And those Amalekites, they know the truth. That's the reason why they wear them, them, you know, them stupid ass hats. Because they're trying to be like the ancient Israelites, man. Some of their women even cut their hair ball trying to fulfill Isaiah the, the third chapter, man. Uh, back in Psalms 2 and 4, it says, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, shall have them in derision. Why? Because what you got in your mind is not how things are going to happen, man. You have it in your mind that the nation of Israel is going to be completely done for. You're going to be able to rule over them and do whatever you want to them perpetually. 
But the, that's not the will of the Heavenly Father. The Most High getting ready to destroy you other nations, man. Just as we read in uh, Sirach, the 36th chapter, smite and asunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. All your, your, all your societies are going to be destroyed, man. Your armies are going to be destroyed. So you're not going to have a way to defend yourself when the nation of Israel comes down to subjugate you, man. And you know that subjugation is coming. That's why you're so scared. Okay, you never thought in a million years that the nation of Israel would get back into order, man. You saw so much chaos and division amongst us. You thought that you didn't you didn't even have to worry about anything anymore, man. You programmed us so much that we would keep the machine going. We would keep this division and this wickedness going, man. Because of the, it would be passed down to the children. You know? The parents, they, they received that indoctrination. They would pass it down to their children. And there would be no way that these people could ever wake up. Well, I did a video on that. You know, we're not supposed to be here going into the, the subversion tactics of Esau Edom. And, uh, you know, it was a, a KG, ex KGB dude. He basically said it takes about, uh, I think he said like 20 years to fully subvert a nation, man. Now we've been under us. Uh, we've been subverted by Esau Edom for longer than that. So he, he, this nigga was proud. You know, I ain't got to worry about these people no more. Yeah, they can, they can read the book, but guess what? I've tainted their understanding of the scriptures, you know? So if anybody does, you know, they may see something, the rest of the group is going to come down on them and say, no, that's wrong. And that's going to shut that down, you know? They're never going to realize what their nationality is because I told their parents and their parents before them that there's something else. I've, I've, I've erased their history from the books, you know? They don't learn about this in school. They've already been indoctrinated about who they are. So I don't have nothing to worry about. This nigga kicking his feet up thinking it's all good, man. But when you had uh, Abba Bivens come on the scene, you know, and start preaching uh, the truth, this nigga got scared, man. Because all that money, all this time and effort that he put into trying to keep us down is, is of none effect, you know? And he's wondering how this happened. It's, this is because the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is working with the nation of Israel. It says, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord Yahweh Shai shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Which that's the Heavenly Father bringing that judgment down here upon you, man. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord Yahweh Shai hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And this is the blessing that we have, man. You, you other nations, you literally belong to us. So I wouldn't want the nation of Israel to come back into power either, man. So I could be a slave. So I could be property of Yasharal. I don't want that to happen. So we're going we gonna to do whatever is necessary to try to hinder these people from, you know, uh, being able to enter back into, uh, you know, uh, their heritage, man. It says, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. And that's exactly what we're going to do to these other nations, man. They don't want this to happen. Especially Amalek, you know, which is the reason why, you know, uh, he's the one, John Mark Reese is the one that's going so hard against this. Because Amalek, the most high, he got, he got a, a, there's a special relationship between you Israelites and you Amalekites, man. The Most High said there shall be a war with Amalek from generation to generation. The Most High hates you more than he hates the average Edomite, man. And the scriptures tell you that Most High hates Edom. But when you read the prophecies, just as we read in Psalms 83, Amalek is separated from Edom. You know? Because you, you, you Amalekites, you the spearhead of oppressing and keeping the nation of Israel down. You know, destroying the nation of Israel Well, that damn devil Margaret Sanger She was an Amalekite And what did she do? She founded Planned Parenthood And the whole, uh, uh, you know, objective of Planned Parenthood Was to exterminate the Negroes Alright? Which you just so happen to be the tribe of Judah Okay? This is uh, Numbers 24 And 16 it says he hath said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, 
I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, which that star represents Yahweh, And a scepter shall rise out of Israel, which this is another prophecy that those devils over there don't fit, man. If you are actually fulfilling the prophecy of returning back to the land, where's your king at? Why you got a why you got a a, a a prime minister that's ruling things? Why you got a parliament? Why do you have a constitution? You know? Why do you have court systems that that mirror the court systems of America? That's not going to be what's going to be established when the, uh, uh, the the nation of Israel is put back in that land. They ain't going to have no constitution which goes completely against the scriptures. You know? They ain't going to have police officers walking around with guns, man. With bulletproof vests fighting, fighting, you know, uh, off them Is Ishmaelites that throw rocks at them, man. That, that's not going to be a thing. That wasn't prophesied, you know. It says, and a scepter shall rise out of Jacob, which the scepter represents rulership. Where's your king at, man? Where is the king of you 1948ers? Where is he at? Why is he, Why aren't there any thrones out there in the nation of Israel? You know, where, where's the where's the, the the abode of your king? And it ain't Netanyahu because kings aren't voted in, man. So where's your king at? Where where where's your anointed ruler at, man? If you are the people of of the scriptures, it's according to the prophecy there will be a king sitting on a throne, reigning over the nation of Israel, man. It says, and a scepter shall arise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. And that damn devil, Vocab, he got a problem with us, you know, identifying these nations according to their biblical uh, uh, nationalities. He said, we got to, we we want people to look through, uh, 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 you know, a biblical scope and label everybody according to a biblical nationality. And he has a problem with that for, for whatever reason, you know. But if you are fulfilling prophecy, you supposed to be jacking the nations up, man. So where's Moab at? And why you ain't putting hell on Moab and the children of Sheth? It says, and Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. So the Edomites are going into captivity and their land is going to be a possession for the nation of Israel. It says, and Israel shall do uh, valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. Where, where is this individual at, man? If you, you 1948ers are actually the people, where is this individual at that's supposed to be ruling the earth? It says, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, which this is the, the, the 1948er, when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And that's the reason why my man John Mark Reeser is trying to go so hard against this, man. He don't want to, he don't want this to come to pass. You know? And I don't blame you, man. If I was an Amalekite, I'd be trying to do everything I can to stand to the prophecies as well. You know, but you're just doing your job. You know, you're fulfilling prophecy in trying to hinder prophecy. All right. You know, I just want to go into that. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Yahweh Hakadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone. Shalom.